Among all of your networks, uh, you have Logo, yep. which uh, targets the gay and lesbian market. Uh, in looking for research on the gay and lesbian market, it, it's not as ubiquitous as other uh, niche groups. Uh, do you do any kind of specialty research for Logo? How do you approach uh, the sales position of Logo with the dearth of actual available data? That's a really good question, and it's we've basically had to take you know matters into our own hands because there isn't a lot of there is no syndicated data out there really to to work with to help us position the network or explain this audience or segment it or whatever. So we've really just done it ourselves, and we've done a, a couple of different studies to uh, to portray and segment the gay and lesbian market for ourselves, for our programmers, for our advertising partners, and it's been very well received because, you know, like, the, uh, you know, they're happy to learn from what we've learned along the way. In terms of segmentation of that uh, cohort, are there many different segments? Sure, yes. Um, I don't know the names of them. That was actually a fantastic study. We've got um, an older gay and lesbian market that um, it was a really big deal for them to come out when they did. And um, then there's a younger, there's certainly a younger segment who it wasn't really a big deal for them to come out. And so their self-identity in a way is a bit different. It's not all about being gay the way it might be for some of one of the older segments. Um, but uh, it deserves a full-blown version of that presentation because it's really interesting.